Hey guys, it's Bro you Whack. Welcome back to another episode of the Top 5 Series. Now, I like to do this every single Saturday, and I've been pretty consistent for, I would say, the past year or so, but I actually don't know when this is going to be uploaded, because the week that I plan on uploading it is actually going to be BlizzCon, and I might prioritize any new news that might come out in regards of Overwatch 2, or possibly a brand new hero, and then delay this a week after. So, if you're watching this a week later, I'm sorry. And if you're watching this right now, then I just wasted this intro. <laughs> but anyway, y'all chill voted last week and thank god you continued to stupid meme because that meant I can get ahead on this video which is looking at the top 5 best fan created skins. Now I have done this video before in the past around the summertime of this year but I just really want to do another episode because there are just so many fantastic skins out there that I not only want to put on display but also just possibly get the ideas out there so that they could possibly get into the game because I feel like when Blizzard goes into their 5th year of Overwatch events they're going to start running out of ideas and might look to the community for some inspiration. And if these skins get popular enough, then maybe one day they'll actually end up in the game of Overwatch. But before any skins get added into the game, we have to vote in the top right hand corner and continue the stupid meme, Workshop Game Modes versus Top 10 Highlight Intros. We haven't done a Top 10 in a hot minute, and I figured now would be a good time, and especially when it comes to Highlight Intros, they're fairly short and not enough for me to talk about, make a full video on, if it was just gonna be a normal Top 5 video. So that's next week's episode, or possibly the Top 5 Workshop Game modes. I mean, there's some good ones out there. Some really, really, uh, <laughs> good ones. <clears throat> but anyway, guys, let's look at some of these fan created skins. And as always, all the artwork that you're gonna see in this video, the links are gonna be in the description so you can go see the actual artist that made all these skins. Because my god, do they deserve more credit than they're probably getting? Because not only do these look realistic, not only do these look like in game skins already, but they look 10 times better than half of the skins that are already in the game. And one of the first skins that I want to look at is a skin that I've actually featured in a video before, but I want to bring up because it's this kind of quality that we need in skins, and especially when it comes to a hero that's been lacking in the skin department recently, but it's going to be D.Va and her Viva skin. Now, personally, I don't know what a Viva is, and if I'm going to be straight up honest, I don't really know where the true inspiration behind the skin is. I want to say this is from the Renaissance era, but... I'm stupid, as most of you guys know, so I'm not gonna try to truly guess where this is for the fear of me looking dumb, which I already do. <laughs> but the reason why I want to start this list off with this skin in particular, which, by the way, this isn't necessarily like a ranking video. Number one isn't necessarily better than number five, but I really want to look at this skin first because this is the kind of quality design that I'm looking for fan-created skins because, like I said before, this looks like something that's already in the game and that not only fits the character or diva, but really strays away from all the other skin concepts that we've already seen her in. Again, I really wish I knew the inspiration behind the skin so I could give a better detailed analysis on it, but overall, just looking at the skin itself, you know it looks cool. This looks like a skin that most diva mains and most players would just be blown away by just because of the sheer amount of details that went into the skin. Whether it's her outfit from the old timey days or her baby diva gun which is now transformed to look like more of like a, a medieval, not a medieval, but like a civil war era type gun where it has a slug as the bullet. And then the mech, man, this is where the details just, oh, really pop out. And there's really not much else to say about that because I don't have much else to say about it. It just looks like a cool skin. She looks cute, but she still looks BA at the same time. And that's what I really like about D.Va, is that you can put her in any kind of skin and it will work for her because it fits her personality. But ladies and gentlemen, at the number four spot is a skin for a hero that needs more skins. All right, I don't care if you hate this hero, you have to agree that this dude is so adorable, which is why I'm confused why Blue Blizzard isn't making more skins for him, but at the number four spot, which isn't necessarily better than number five, it's gonna be Hammond and his Disco or 80 skin. I don't care if Zarya already has the 80 skin, we can have another hero with an 80 skin, especially one where we've been saying time and time and time again to put Hammond into a Disco ball. They could do so much with this Wrecking Ball, but they're not doing enough, which is why I'm so confused. And this looks like an idea that would not only be possible, but would also be very, very, very cool, man. The only issue that I can see with this skin is how it would be in game because basically you would have a skin where it have a bunch of mirrors and it could be very blinding or very distracting if you were to try to program this skin to actually have the reflection of the map, which might give you an unfair advantage because it would be so blinding or distracting. But even if Blizzard were to make his Wrecking Ball into something else, what I'm really hoping for when it comes to not only this skin, but just Hammond skins in general is to see how they dress up Hammond because when it comes to this 80s skin, 
again. Of course, they're gonna give him an 80s outfit and then a, a pedo stash and some sunglasses, but that's just what I really look forward to when I hear about a new Hammond skin is how they're gonna dress up this tiny hamster in people clothes. And here, they gave him a neon tracksuit. It's so adorable. Now for the next skin in this video, it's gonna be one that I don't think I talked about before, which I'm actually surprised because it's not only perfect for this hero, but it would look fantastic just in general in the game because it's it's kind of low-key already in the game. But for the third best fan create skin, it's gonna be the Plague Doctor for Anna. Now, just like Hammond and his disco skin, I know Reaper already has a skin that's actually called the Plague Doctor, but shh, 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 shh. this is actually perfect. Besides Mercy, Anna is considered the doctor or the medic of the hero roster. And back in like the 12th or 13th century, this is what all the doctors and medics used to wear, are these big long cloaks and a mask that resembled a bird or a hawk. And they used to wear these specific masks because they wanted to cover up their face because they thought diseases used to spread through the air, which is true to an extent, but when it came to the Black Plague disease, that wasn't the case, and that's when this disease used to be most popular and when you saw most of these doctors. Now, why would Anna be the perfect hero to get this Plague Doctor skin because she is the doctor. Like why? I just explained it. Did you not listen? <laughs> now, obviously the skin for Anna herself looks fantastic. She looks amazing. I absolutely love the hawk-like mask, but the thing that I would look forward to the most are the accessories because this is something that not a lot of people really are familiar with, are the equipment that is used in like the 12th and 13th century that I would actually look forward to seeing how Blizzard decides to implement all those ideas from long ago in a more modern fashion. Uh, assuming that Blizzard to actually look at this video and consider what this little virgin has to say because my god does this skin and these accessories look beautiful and it's something that I think definitely goes underappreciated whenever it comes to honest skins and especially Roadhog skins are the way that they design the things that make them iconic the sleep dart the anti grenade the hook the heal whatever the case may be but boys for the second best fan made skin in overwatch which isn't necessarily better than number three four or five is gonna be a skin that's just like diva where I don't know where the inspiration came from, but I just love the way that this skin looks. And at the number two spot, it's going to be Widowmaker and her red queen skin. Seeing skins like this really makes me want to become an artist because I guarantee you I can make some beautiful skins just like this. And then I actually get down to it, I put a pencil on a piece of paper, and then it just looks freaking awful. It's like, oh! So I just leave the artistic abilities to the people that actually deserve the recognition and boy does John just blow it out of the water with this kind of skin. I don't know how to describe it, it kind of reminds me of the, the royal queen a little bit way, way, way back in the day with the kind of arm sleeve that she has going on, but then you look at her crown and it's not necessarily a traditional crown, but it has a very bright red heart in the center and then the rest of the clothes also takes that same kind of color palette with that very dark maroon color, very dark purples, very dark whites. How can whites be dark, man? I'm tired. I'm getting ready for BlizzCon, y'all. <laughs> the thing that I love most about the skin that I didn't think you noticed right away at first is that this matches the energy of Widowmaker herself. That elegant energy, that classy energy, that straight up sexy energy, and that's the kind of energy that we need in these skins. You don't necessarily need to know the inspiration behind the skin to know that it would work for Widowmaker. And in fact, it might not even be inspired from anywhere. It might just be an OC created skin that just works for it because it looks beautiful as portrayed in her dress, as portrayed in her tiara, which I absolutely love, by the way. I love the heart, and I think those are broken hearts on the side as well. A nice little detail if that is the case. This just, uh, just, I love it, man. I wish more Widow skins came into the game. I wish more Hammond skins came into the game, and I wish more May skins came into the game. Oh yeah, did I forget to mention that the number one skin is gonna be a May skin? Yeah, the number one skin is gonna be a May skin, which if you call me biased for that, shut up. You know you just commented saying you want a skin for your main, so don't even try to play that that game with me. But for the number one spot, which isn't necessarily better than all these skins, it's gonna be a May skin that I always say I want to see in the game. I don't know why it's not in the game, but this is gonna be Ice Cream May. Now, I'm pretty sure I have talked about this skin before, but I'm gonna bring it up again either way, because this is something that everybody needs to see, because not only is it perfect for May, but it also fits her personality, because she just looks like someone that after a nice date with a boy, she's like, can we go get some ice cream? Because she loves ice cream. I mean, 
what, what kind of nice girl doesn't love ice cream? If you go out on a date with a girl and she doesn't want ice cream, she's just the devil. Do not date her. I, like, I promise you, you do not want to date her if she does not want ice cream. They can easily turn Snowball into a sundae and give his little antenna a nice little cherry, and then they can make her gun into like an ice cream shooter or something. I don't really know. Maybe they can make her icicles actually have some ice cream color. That would be so adorable. And then they would give May just an ice cream parlor skin. It's so simple. Like, it really is so simple. It kind of takes the inspiration of Honeydew, where she would have a uniform of some sort, and then Snowball is the food of choice that she's always serving. In Honeydew, it's in Honeydew. Here, it's just an ice cream sundae. And then maybe after she gets a kill or a headshot on the enemy, she can have a voice line specifically for this skin where she can say, ice cream for ice scream. See, see, it's cringy when I do it, but when May would do it, it would be so cute, man. We need more May puns, we need more May skins, and we just overall need more skins. And I really do appreciate Blizzard's effort in trying to bring some high quality skins still in the fourth year of the game's lifespan, but man, how cool would it be to have an event with a bunch of skins released that takes inspiration from fan-created skins? Not only will it show their appreciation to the Overwatch art community, but it would show just their appreciation to the Overwatch community, because I don't think that's something that enough video game companies are really doing or taking ideas from the internet and implementing it into their game when it comes to cosmetic items that is but anyway guys that is another video where we look at more fan made skins I don't know if I'm gonna be making another one of these because I like I don't know I just don't want to continue the top five series focusing on fan created skins if I do it's gonna be a separate video away from the top five series because while I love fan made skins it's something that I don't want to just do over and over again I love you guys thank you guys Guys for watching and hopefully we get more skins announced after BlizzCon maybe I don't know because well I haven't left for BlizzCon yet I love you guys and bye